Hello, welcome back. I've put my headphones in because it's quite windy, so hopefully you'll be able to hear me. Um, it is morning. Last night I came down and the motorway was shut in France and we got diverted off and it was down some country lanes and it was throwing it down with rain and the roads weren't great. And somewhere I've picked up an uh, electrical problem. I've got out this morning to check, do my routine checks as you do. Um, and it, it is something that is quite important to do. And this is one of the reasons why. So walking around the unit, everything looks okay. Um, all the lights are working, indicators working. And um, the uh, side lights on the unit are working, coming round, everything's working, indicators are working on the trailer, everything's fine. Uh, these are LEDs, so they're good. They're all good. They're all good. Coming round here. Those are working. Those are working up there, but that's not. That's not. And indicators working, but no side lights. This side light is the emergency side light sort of thing. It's so that you have got something and it's on a slightly different um, system to the other as you see with this so you've still got one marker light for the number plate the other one's not working and so one's working one's not the side light's not working on there but it's sort of like make sure that you at least got at least got one little marker light on the back indicators working now the first thing that I would say is it's a fuse because when I, although the indicators are working on this side you can see the indicators are working when I turn the indicators off on this side the unit is fine everything's working on the unit no problem everything's working everything's working now if i jump up and turn the indicators off second if i turn that off you'll see that there's no side lights on this side no that one's not working one at the top's not working. Unit is working fine. No side light. No side light or no side lights, nothing nothing going all the way down this side of the trailer. Apart from our little emergency light. It's kind of just on a different system so that you so that you've got something. You know, so if once it's it'll be all connected to just like one emergency that will make sure it works. Like your little, like I said, that one will probably come off this side, and that one will come off the other side, so that you've got one. So and we've got no light up there either. So everything on what would be my right hand side is not working. And so like this little light isn't working either so if you see what I mean this one's not working because that's working so that one would be that one would be to to that side and that one is to this side so always you've got one one light working you've got something at the side and as you can see all the side lights on this side are working everything's working now to me, that points to a fuse. So what I'm going to do is check on the fuse box 
just have a quick look see because there'll be a fuse for this side and there'll be a fuse for the other side and we're going to test the go in the fuse box and just test the the um the fuses it might just be a bit of water's got in somewhere and um it's blown the fuse so we'll have a look now i am fully aware that um for a lot of you are very experienced drivers and um if you're not drivers you still got common sense so i what i'm going to say would be like um teaching my grandmother to suck eggs i don't mean to but there are also a lot of people that watch my channel that don't have the experience that you do and could get out here and would be completely lost if something like this happened i'm also fully aware that a lot of companies will not let their um, drivers do anything to the vehicle at all um, it's so if anything was wrong all you do is report it and then somebody out they call somebody out and they do it the problem being when like us if you're um, a European driver um, you are quite often away for a few weeks at a time or you are in the middle of nowhere like I am today um, I'm just on an industrial estate um, and the, what happens when you're away from home like we are is it doesn't matter if you're British, Irish, Belgium, Spanish, wherever, if you are not in your own country what happens is you would go say with this vehicle i would go into scania main dealer and they will look at it and they will build the company but before that happens what they will need is a guarantee of payment they want to know because they have no record about your company they have no um, knowledge of who you are you're not local so you could quite easily skip the country and not pay them um, or they could do the work and your lorry is going to be sitting there for ages because you haven't got the money now because they don't know anything about you now this happens in the UK to um, foreign um, companies this happens in Spain to people from Belgium this happens to the Portuguese if they're in France it happens to everybody this is the system so Apart from it holding you up forever while it goes, so um, I would ring my boss. My boss would then ring Scania. Scania UK then ring Scania Madrid. And then Scania Madrid find out who your nearest agent is, where your nearest workshop is. And they contact them. And then they give them the guarantee of payment. And then it all goes back again. It goes back around the chain so then they say to my boss yes you've got guarantee of we've guaranteed your pay, payment take your driver can now go in and get the work done that then becomes an emergency for Scania for example and um, they will then do the work they will have a guarantee of payment of at least 500 pound it's usually a thousand pound um, but depending on the, the the problem that you're going in with, if it's an it's an engine problem, there there will probably be something like five grand. But this ha this is the system. This is a system for everybody in every country, no matter where you are. If you're away from home, so things like this, it's really helpful if you can do something. If you can do something, and you can say to the boss, well. Um, I've checked this, I've checked that, I've done the basics of what I can do and then they can say right okay then you can go through the process. Apart from anything else it takes time, it takes, um, it can drag on and on when you're out, it's out of hours it's even more expensive and you know if you've got a bit of cop on, I don't know how else to say it, if you've got a bit of common sense most of these jobs aren't difficult, changing bulbs, um, I can do I can look at the basic things with this wiring so I have checked what's wrong and now they always do the simple things first so the simplest thing is to check the fuse 
So in the scanner, the fuse box is under here. So just unclip that like that. And there are your fuses. They're generally in the dash on most. I know with the Volvo it was, but you had to, it was a different system to get into it um, and that sort of thing. Uh, if you've got a book, that helps. Um, I know where this is because I own them. So this is why I like to have a scanner because I know a little bit about them. Not a lot because I'm not a mechanic and I am definitely not an electrician. On the back of that tray that we just took out is a fuse diagram. So it gives you an idea of what fuse does what and then any extras and relays and things over there. We don't need to go into them because that's too technical and that would cause somebody else. So we find the fuse that sort of side lights is on, which looking at this is probably these two. Looking at... So what you do is just pull them out. Oh, pull it out. Just a little bit. You can see. Sorry about the noise. Seem to be working by the side of me. You see that that's okay. And I'll check the other one. Just push push it back in. And then just check the other one. And again, can you see that one a bit better? Oh, there you go, the connector's working. You can see that. So that's okay too. So it's not the fuse. So I've put all that back together. Um, what I'm going to do now, it's warm with the, with the window shut, but. Um, the wind keeps howling through so you won't be able to hear me what i'm going to do now is i've got a spare electrical cable that goes from the unit to the trailer because all the power on the trailer comes from the batteries on the unit so what i'm going to do is get out and change that it may just be that going over all the bumps and all that sort of thing um it's broken a wire or something like that. I mean, that's the next simplest thing, especially because they're LED lights. If um, it was normal bulbs, I would be checking the bulbs now, um, getting the screwdriver out, check, changing the bulbs, because bulbs can go just by going over a bump. Um, I had it on one trailer where I came off the boat and... Um, there was the, the link span was quite bumpy and I got off and then when I checked everything I saw I've got no lights and I've got no lights at all on the back of the trailer and checked the fuses again went back and this was an older trailer and it was bulbs rather than LEDs checked the bulbs and every one of the bulbs had gone just where it had bounced out the, of the boat so um but with LEDs it's very rare that an LED will go, very rare. Um, usually if a LED goes, it's wiring. Um, and it might just be a problem with wiring going to it. They go dim, LEDs quite often just go dim, which means it's a wiring problem. Um, but with that going out altogether, I would say it's a wiring problem going from the unit to the trailer. And so that's the electrical cable. I know most of you know what I'm talking about and most of you would say, well, that was obvious. So I'm sorry if, like I said, I'm, I'm teaching you to suck eggs, as I said before, but some new drivers and followers that, um, subscribers rather that don't drive, um, don't know these things. So I just thought I'd show you. So we'll go out and I'll change the Susie which is what the electrical cable's called, and we'll see if that works. So I've got a new Susie. Um, I don't know why they're called Susies, actually. I'm sure somebody will be able to tell us. 
Sorry, there's some people loading the trailer behind me, if you can hear them. So I have a new Susie. This one's a new one. This one plugs into the vehicle and um, it goes into pins. So this is the female end that goes into the vehicle and then it comes out to two ends. That's your auxiliary and this is your main one. Now I would say that there is a problem in this, in the one that's still on there. And that just plugs, you can see there, that just plugs in, those two just plug into the trailer, correspond into the trailer. So I would say that there is a problem with that somewhere in there. So what I'm going to do is take this one off and put a new one on and we'll see how it goes from there. And we have success. That one's working. That one's working up there. Can you see? Yep, that one's working. We'll go around and check the back. Yay! That's working. Yep. Yep. Our little light was on anyway, and it's working, and that's working. So that's lights on, and that's working. And you see how that's come back on as well, because we've got then and the one on this side's come on back on as well. Look, because obviously this works from the other side. I mean. It could have been anything. I mean, if you look underneath, like I said, it could have been anything. But if you look underneath, you'll see that there's lots of joins in the wires, lots of connectors, lots of bits of wiring, and it's, it, it would be the same underneath this side as well. But you don't really want to get into that unless it's something that you can obviously see that has come undone or somebody's undone just through malice you can see and if you know if you can wiggle a wire and get it to work well all well and good but just being able to do the basic things like check the fuse box change a bulb if necessary if, if it's a bulb and change a susie just means you haven't paid for a call out and you are completely legal again to go back on the road 
so it, it wasn't anything too technical. Um, so fuse, the only things I could, I could check, I mean, it's all very complicated under there. Only things I could check, I'm not a mechanic, I'm not an electrician, is fuse, bulbs, Susie. That's the kind of three things that are obvious to anybody. And if you can do that, keep yourself legal, um, keep your vehicle moving, just it, it's much easier for everybody. So I would say there is a problem in here somewhere. And when you think how many times this is put on and put off, um, you know, changing trailers and that, but it seems stupid because I can't take that off. It's all sealed. It's, it's heat shrunk and it's all a sealed unit. I can't, if I cut that, I can't see what's going on. I know I need a new one of them to fix it. So it just, so I guess you just have to buy a whole cable. I mean, I carry a spare, but I guess you just have to carry a whole cable, buy a new cable. You know, why can't you just, you know, years ago there used to be a pin that went through them and you could knock the pin out and um, see what was going on inside there, see if there was a cable loose or whatever. But obviously, you know, now they decided to charge you for a new cable, which is um, such a waste, isn't it? Such a waste. They can try and convince us to, um, to buy electric cars, but they can't let us fix an electric cable. How ridiculous. So on that note, I'm going to make a move. Um, I hope that helps somebody. Um, I'm aware that some companies do not let their drivers do anything on their vehicles. I'm aware of that. Um, so obviously you do what your company tells you to do. I'm also aware that a lot of you know a lot more about mechanicing and electricianing because I am neither. So um, you do what you are supposed to, you do what your company tells you to do. But this is me, this is what I do. I would rather try and fix something. Um, bulbs, fuses, suzes, they're very simple things to do. And I would rather fix them than run um, with something like the lights off. So I hope this helps somebody and I will catch up with you next time. Please subscribe. Oh, dirty thumb. <laughs> Please subscribe and I will um, see you soon. Take care.